One of the most beloved Zelda games of all time has just been remade for the Nintendo 3DS, and with it comes this collector's guide from Prima Games. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you an unpackaging and also just something that I added to my collection that I really had to share with you as soon as possible because I wanted to open this as soon as I got my hands on this. This guide is made by Prima Games, and Prima Games have made a lot of Zelda guides in the past. I think this is their eighth guide that they have made, plus Hyrule Historia, which is absolutely amazing for any Zelda fan. You definitely have to pick it up. If you're wondering where you can get these, you can find them on Amazon, EB Games, or GameStop is also selling them, but Amazon's probably your best bet because you'll probably save about $15 if you do buy it on there. Now this is still sealed in the plastic packaging, which I will have to unwrap for you in a moment, but it does say right here that it does have a bonus, and the bonus is includes free mobile e-guide and character clings. So if you're into getting e-guides, so you can look them up on your phone or anything like that. And it also has some character clings, which I think are decals. We'll get to that in a second. On the side, it does say the name of the game, of course, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D Collector's Edition. And I'm not sure if they're going to make more that aren't Collector's Editions, but these, this is really cool. Free mobile version, it does say over there as well. You get the digital guide. Collector's Edition exclusive, reusable clings featuring art from The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. So I think these are the character clings that you can probably use. I would likely put them somewhere in my Nintendo room. So this is all about saving the world Termina. Fully detailed walkthrough. Shows how to solve each puzzle, defeat each boss, and finish the game with 100% completion, if that is your sort of thing. I personally just love looking through these to get all the art, and to get all the character designs, and to look at all the pictures, and to really, if I ever happen to get stuck, at least I can refer to the guide. I don't usually go through these entirely. You can find your way with this. You can also do legendary checklists to make sure you get everything done, and beat the baddies. This is an officially licensed Nintendo product made by Prima Games as I said in the year 2015 it does say down there and then also here are the prices that are recommended by it this is printed in USA written by Stephen Stratton thank you Stephen Stratton for writing this by the way it's $35 in the States $41 in Canada it looks like in the UK it's like 20 euros and then Australia it's about $50 so it really depends on where you are I bought this for $25 Canadian I believe on Amazon all right, let's actually get to the unboxing of this or the unpackaging of this. I've been really excited for a long time, and I do have an X-Acto knife if I need to use it, but I'm just going to use my hands and rip this. You might notice right away that this does have gold pages, which the pages are at least outlined in gold. And I only bought one of these, a lot of items in my collection, recently anyways. I've been buying two, one to keep sealed and one to actually use and unbox. But I've only bought one of these, maybe I'll buy two in the future if I'm really astounded with it. So here are the character clings right there. Those look really cool. Skull Kid looks pretty huge. We do have Zora Link down here as well. And we have Majora's Mask. You have some different enemies on here as well. You do have, of course, Link himself. And then you have Fierce Daddy Link, which looks really cool. And the logo for the game as well. On the back here, it does say that you get a free e-guide as well. So that's cool. I'm going to keep these, obviously. And there's nothing on the back of the reusable clings that they call them. Okay, let's actually open up this guide and just take a look. Before I do so, actually, you'll notice the gold different pages on there that are stick together, stuck together right now. We do have that side of the package on the back. It's just this maroon red. And on the front, it does have great detail work going around all the sides, which you can see. And of course, Majora's Mask does look absolutely fantastic on the cover here. Most of the other ones have the normal Triforce symbol and the bird from Skyward Sword, but this one is a little bit unique. Looks fantastic. Okay, now let's finally open this up. More maroon on the front. Absolutely amazing first page right here. That looks like a great poster. I would love to have that as a poster, actually. I'm sure it does exist. It gives you a table of contents. So if you're curious of going to anything and the introduction... I don't think I'll go through every page of this, but I do want to just show you some of the things that this does include in case you're interested. The cast of characters, it goes through everyone. Link, Tattle, Epona, Skull Kid, Majora's Mask, Mask Salesman, Great Owl. You have the Great Fairies, Tingle. Yes, Tingle is in this game quite a bit. And there's so many different characters on this, including the Bombers. The Bombers Notebook is very, very important within the game for side quests. Out of Towners, so spoilers, slight spoilers probably if you look through this entire thing. But I just want to show you and give you an idea of what this actually has. It's fully in color. The pages are numbered beautifully, which is excellent. This thing does look absolutely awesome. Items and gear, you can read through all of that. And there, of course, there's some great artwork on 
every few pages you get some really cool artwork. And there are different labels going down the side of the page. So right now we're in items and gear. There is the walkthrough portion of it. And there's different maps that look fully detailed in color that look really stunning. Really, really cool to get all this art. If you're a fan of any Zelda game, I highly recommend you pick up all of these guides. Romani Ron Ranch. Romani Ranch. Romani Ranch looks really well done. Great drawings, great depictions in these. I'm sure they're made on the computer. We even have some of the boss depictions right here. You have Odowa, which looks really cool. All of the items in this look really fantastic. And I love the reason why these are in color, of course. A lot of games don't have, like, even instruction manuals for you to go through anymore. So having something like this, if you're a true fan of the series, is really awesome. There's a good picture of Zora Link actually swimming as well. I don't want to do too many spoilers at the back of the book, but I'm sure there's a lot of different things. Oh, that picture looked awesome. Let's go back to that. That looks so cool. That is a great picture, too. So I'm just blown away with a lot of the art. I would read through this entire thing just to get an idea of what everything's like. You do have answers to the quizzes and Keaton's quiz. I think that's how you pronounce it. Probably pronouncing that wrong. So this guide is stunning. If you're a fan of the Zelda franchise and Majora's Mask, I think you have to get your hands on this. Of course, the game came out, and a lot of people are having difficulties picking up that limited edition set, which is with the Skull Kid figure. I do have an unboxing video up of that as well already. And if you're curious, I did get the limited edition new Nintendo 3DS XL unboxing video of that one as well. So if you want to click on the top left right now you can click on to watch that unboxing video if you want to click on the upper right middle you can watch the skull kid unboxing video majora's mask 3d fantastic game the prima guide looks absolutely stunning if you can get it for less than 30 dollars i really do think it's worth it maroon package great design very well made thank you for writing this steven stratton you are a wonderful human being for contributing to the zelda franchise especially to this prima guide i'm a huge fan of this but let me know what you think of this in the comments below. I would really appreciate to hear all your thoughts on what you think about guides and are they still worthwhile anymore or do you think just everything is found online and it doesn't really matter. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming.